and I'm going to be talking about the book that I've read during the summer called The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hader. So the, the main character is, is called Christopher and, and he's a bit different from everyone else. His, he, has, he has autism and he knows every prime number up to 7,057. He relates well to animals, but he doesn't understand human emotions. I like this quote. Prime numbers are what is left when you have taken all the patterns away. I think prime numbers are like life. They are very logical, but you could never work out the rules, even if you spend all your time thinking about them. I like this quote a lot because it gives us a good idea of how Christopher thinks of the world and the people. I like it because his thinking is very unique. Because, and not a lot of people would think of this way. The plot of the story is 15-year-old Christopher is artistic and everyday interactions have little meaning to him. He obsesses over patterns, rules, and diagrams of human emotion and their meaning drawn by his teacher for him. One day, his neighbor's dog, Wellington, is killed and his, his carefully constructed universe is threatened. He sets out to find the murderer in the style of his favorite logical detective, Sherlock Holmes. The theme is, is um, independence. Even with autism, his goal in the novel is similar to any other teenagers, to be independent and find his goal in the world. But because of his condition, his, because of his condition, he cannot be as independent as other people. Mm. But he still wants to be independent, so we see him, we see him disobeying his father's rules and telling lies. Subjectivity. This novel is is about is written to tell the readers how how people with artistic people think and and the differences between their thoughts and our thoughts. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hayden is an extraordinarily, extraordinarily creative book, has a unique main character and a surprising plot twist. This doesn't directly describe it doesn't directly describe things and let you think it about it for yourself, unlike most books. That wraps up my book.